Hello everyone and welcome to Overcast. This is episode number 40 of Overcast and a very special week. Very excited for you to be here. This is your place for Overwatch news. And with me, I have Softy and Overdrive. How are both of you out there doing? Doing well. How's everybody? Doing fantastic. As you can see, I'm in a new place. So, <laughs> so How's, How are the new digs? The, the new digs are great, except for all the reflections behind me, but I'll get that sorted out, all that stuff, all that mess. <laughs> so uh, remember, uh, for the show, though, you can also you can follow us on Twitter, at Overcast Show. Go to theovercastshow.blogspot.com, where you can hit up our show notes and everything. Head over to frozenfoxradio.com, where you can learn about this and all the other shows on the Frozen Fox Radio Network. Hit up our Facebook page. Thank you for watching the YouTube version, if you're watching the video version. Or if you're listening to the audio version on iTunes, Stitcher, Podbean, or Google Play Music, or somewhere else. Thank you very much. So, what have we been up to this week? As you can see, the uh, studio behind me looks quite different. That's because I have moved everything, my wife and I, for <laughs> three days on the road. A, a few, few hundred miles, a few thousand miles, I guess. All the way back out to the old studio in uh, Utah. We'll be here for two months, so I have not played any Overwatch this week. <laughs> Actually, I got in the game, but I did not play any matches yet. How about uh, you, Softy? Yeah, I've played a lot of Overwatch <laughs> this week. Uh, I actually work 10-hour days, so um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I played what I could. But I got yelled at by Wickedella early Friday morning and stopped playing about 3 p.m. and then got back on at night to play more. So, yeah, I've been playing <laughs> Overwatch a lot all week long. That's pretty much been my entire week. Nice. How about you, Ova? How's your week been? Yeah, it's uh, been pretty good. Got to play Overwatch on release. Um, came back from a long weekend um, being out of town. I didn't get to go to the release event. There wasn't enough people signed up to do that event, so they canceled it, which was unfortunate, but got to play a lot throughout this week, which has been really fun, so... Been having a blast in there. Excellent. Well, with that out of the way, let's just jump right into the topics. I mean, this is a this is a huge week for Overwatch. I mean, we we've been waiting the entire time that we're doing this podcast and longer, I guess, to be able to actually get our hands on the released version of the game to where everyone can get out there and play it. <laughs> so, I heard there was a little bit of a rocky start. I was I was in the middle of Kansas or something yeah. like that when it happened. Twitter was blowing up. <laughs> so, so maybe maybe both of you can fill me in on what happened. I, I don't know. Ova, what, how was it for your first day? Yeah, uh, basically you couldn't log in for the first 20 minutes. Uh, server weren't up. Um, but once you got in, I think everything was pretty smooth. What, what was your experience, Frosty? Mine, <laughs> or, or, uh, Softy, sorry, Softy. Mine That's was great right. a few days after. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we had uh, crash after crash after crash, unfortunately. Um, we were playing as a group of six, and it was just, you know, somebody was getting disconnected every game. Uh, you just didn't know who. You hoped that wasn't you. But, uh, I mean, by Tuesday... Um, probably by Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, it was really solid. Uh, I haven't had any issues since. The only issue um, that I've had was we had a bug where um, certain people would get registered with no damage, no kills, no heals, nothing. You'd get zeroed out and get no experience, and you'd have to reload. Um, other than that, just that it goes into window mode every single <laughs> time I log. Yep. <laughs> That's my favorite. No, you're right. I did get disconnected a couple times. That was probably the only thing. Yeah. What a blast that, that I ran into. So. Yeah. Hey, it's better than any WoW launch I've ever been a part of. <laughs> I'm I'm curious to see how many people played day one. I, I want to know how many people you know bought the game, started mm -hmm. playing because we know that almost 10 million people played the open beta. So how many yeah. people played in the real you know the retail version, and uh, what it, what the servers looked like? I'm sure. If I could pull up a picture of it right now, it'd just be like a giant inferno. Probably what it looked like on that day. Have to well, ask, I can, have to I can ask tell you that like. uh, our area, we, I'm in Minneapolis, so we have Targets everywhere. And Target was doing the uh, Overwatch pin giveaway, that if you bought it from them or you could buy the pin. And I think it was, I was there Tuesday or Wednesday, and every Target in the entire metro was sold out. Nice. So it seemed to be getting pretty popular. Yeah. Nice. So I'm hoping <laughs> it was the same levels of the beta. That'd be great. 
Well, speaking of buying stuff, you can now buy stuff in the game for the first time. You can? And uh, I have already spent money in the game. I think, uh, Softy, I think you've spent a little tiny bit of money. I didn't know that was okay. <laughs> and, uh, Ova, have you spent any money in the game yet? Uh, minimal, but I have. Okay, I have so we've all done it. A few. <laughs> we were all guilty. <laughs> yep. I, I used, a, like, a hanging balance that I had in Battle.net to use mine. Yeah. But yep. in the, uh, the limited time that I've been in the game this week. <laughs> Ova, how many uh, boxes did you get, or do you want to admit I... it, on the air? <laughs> I only bought a handful, but I did get an epic Toa Roadhog skin, so it was worth the it. The legendary? Or legendary, legendary. Yeah, yep. that's nice. I got that one three times. <laughs> <laughs> Softy, uh, do, you want to, do you care to admit how many boxes you've bought? Uh, <sighs> Wickedell is going to kill me. Um, I think 150. <laughs> plus. Holy cow. <laughs> plus. <laughs> plus. If you'd have just said 50, that plus I'd might be cool. big. <laughs> It's a it's a plus or minus. Uh, yeah, I bought a few. So so you pretty much have everything you want. I'm guessing at this point. I I have. I think we were just talking about a pre-show. I have a few characters without the, all the legendaries that I want. I think I have Hanzo, Genji, and Diva, and and I just got Mercy. I just got the Mercy yep. uh, uh, vehicle, or is it? Uh, I can't remember which one it is. Anyways, I got. I got one of her legendary skins, that nice. the one I was missing. So I think I'm only missing three char- three characters worth. So, so now for you, it's like letting the credits flow. Cause... Yeah, I uh, opened a few boxes pre-show. <laughs> a, a few. <laughs> this might be in that plus or minus area. <laughs> and uh, I just in those boxes, I have over 2,000 credits. So because it's it was like three or four boxes in a row where everything was dupes. Um, I got two legendaries in there that were dupes. So that's 500 credits right there. So... Um, my guess is once we get going here, unless they're adding a lot, which I don't think they're going to do, I think you're going to have a lot of credit and be able to uh, customize what you want. You're going to say, hey, I want this victory pose, I want this skin, and I want this spray, because you can just go in and buy most of those, yep. except for the achievement ones, of course. Of course. Yeah, the, uh, it's interesting. We were talking, I think, last night about it, about how with all the duplicates and everything like that, would there ever be a system where everybody you could trade? From what yeah. you don't like to somebody yep. else, something that like would, that. That would be awesome. I doubt that they would ever do it, but no, it would be nice. Because, <laughs> they will never do that because that takes away a reason for people to buy. Because exactly. if you can just trade them, if I could take my three Roadhog Toas and trade two of them off, then I'd have no reason to, you know, buy boxes because I could just get, you know, two I want, but I can't. So. Yep. 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 Well, uh, Ova, you and I got the collector's edition. And yeah, it was quite impressive. Give us the rundown of that collector's edition. Yeah, that's basically your own real life loot box. It's so big. <laughs> no kidding. And heavy. But here's here is the main reason why I bought the collector's edition. This guy right here. For those he's at home. Statue. <laughs> um, he's he's pretty fantastic. Um, you get what else do you get in there? You get a nice um, basically this, tin. Yeah, the tin the game. the game comes in is awesome. The you source park. Source you guys spent like additional money on this. You guys spent money on the game. Nah, it, it was all free. <laughs> <laughs> um, the yeah, soundtrack the, was good. I, I listened to that in the car the other day. <laughs> yep. No, it was just packed full of really cool stuff. I'm glad I picked it up. Yeah, it is. It is an impressive crate. Then you get it. It's it's heavy and huge. Like. Yep. I I've got to reorganize how I'm going to display my Blizzard stuff from now on because it is so big. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's 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 impressive. Like the box is so solid and nice, and I think Softy and I were talking about it. Like if every other Blizzard game had like a hundred and twenty dollar you know, legendary yep. kind of thing you could get, or there's a statue or something, we'd be all in. Yeah, I mean, imagine like Cataclysm if you got like a Deathwing statue <laughs> that was that quality. Of course, yeah, count me in. I'd yeah. be all over that. So <laughs> yeah, so we'll see. Maybe uh, maybe if you know if sales were good, maybe they'll think about it, but. I think with WoW, they'll probably stick with the same thing because all of them kind of fit in the same, you know, shape now. Mm -hmm. Kind of got a pattern going, so. Yeah, I I would hate to have to take my collector's editions and change the box size. Yeah. So maybe in some uh, future IP or something, they Mm -hmm. will do that. We'll see. (laughs) And other than the launch day experiences, how's your experiences been so far with the uh, the game this week? Go with uh, Ova first. Yeah, so 
And this week, I've really been having a lot of fun with Torbjorn and Zarya, two of the characters that I really didn't pick up on uh, in beta when I was playing. So they have been a blast. Um, Torbjorn, I'm like two two hours in with him. <laughs> um, I love just throwing a turret on on the payload and and just wrecking people with that. Um, and Zarya has just been a, been a blast. How about you guys? I uh. I made it kind of a point to play everybody. I didn't really play Zarya or Winston or Zenyatta or Symmetra. Um, I don't know who saw it on Twitter, but uh, Wicked and I and Totem and a few others had a six-player uh, Symmetra win. Uh, <laughs> yes, it wow. took all six of us to kill a Roadhog, uh, but we did win. <laughs> uh, it was a defense on uh, Hanamura, I believe. So, nice. yeah, that that's, was, uh, that's pretty that was awesome. a lot of fun. Yeah. But I've actually been really enjoying playing other characters. Um, I haven't done a lot of the um, public groups. I've done a few of them, and I really haven't been happy with. There's been some uh, belligerence and things like that. But um, we actually got to play four or five games against Swifty um, okay. from uh, Twitch. And the, his team, he was uh, Mercy on almost every team. And, and they were really, really well-fought battles. And everybody was really polite and courteous. So that, that was really nice to see. Nice. I've been noticing on Twitter a lot of people saying that now that the game is in the retail version, that the mm -hmm. the vocal and typed abuse has skyrocketed like yep. exponentially. Because mm -hmm. uh, you know, and all the time in beta that I was in there, there was very very few toxic moments. Very few. I could probably count them on less than one. I can one think hand. of one. I can Involved a mower. <laughs> maybe that was a little bit more inadvertent. Maybe, maybe I don't know. We'll have to see. <laughs> but, but there really wasn't that many. And, no, no. And in the last couple of days on Twitter, I have seen nothing but people talking about how they have been yeah. berated and you know just kind of what you what you kind of thought was going to happen before now, and now mm -hmm. it's happening. <laughs> yeah, that's why I if you can play with a group of friends, um, I think there's probably about. I don't know, with you, Ova, and now Frosty's going to be playing, and all the people that we've been playing with, um, I probably have a group of about 20 friends that are playing right now, and so just being able to find a group uh, is so important. It's, you know, the other group can be toxic, but it doesn't matter as long as you're with your own friends. Uh, yeah, yep. I, for now, at least, until they, they can figure something else out, because it, there's going to have to be a, a quick ban on people that do that. We've, we mm -hmm. had a few that were saying some pretty horrible things uh, when we were playing against a team. So, yeah, it's there. Uh, try to ignore it. Yep. Play with friends. That's all I can really say. And yeah. that's that's definitely true. Like you said, when you play with friends, even if you're losing, you sh you're still mm -hmm. having fun. That's one of the yeah. fun things about it. Yep. And sometimes that's when you want to try those uh, six Symmetra strategies and things like that. <laughs> and that just yeah, makes we, the game we even did better. A, we did a bunch of those. We did six Torbjorn, six Symmetra. <laughs> um, we, I think we tried six Winston. <laughs> I did that with another group, Six Winston, that was fun. But uh, I don't know if you guys saw, there was a picture of a guy on uh, Twitter with his Razor Naga in pieces on the floor. After oh, yeah. playing a game, he destroyed it. So there's a little bit of rage coming out of some of those <laughs> games. But overall, they're pretty fun. Yeah, I mean, and uh, Wickedella even said it is sometimes when you just decide to not try to win, when you play the Six Symmetra or whatever it might be, and just try to have fun. The game's just that much better. Oh yeah, <laughs> and it's so cool that we play a game that allows us to do that. You know, I, and while you're like, ah, I'm just gonna bring sixteen healers tonight. <laughs> yeah, no kidding, right? Sixteen druids. Yes. Like well, team. there you go. You can do that. <laughs> but our raid team already does that, right? Yeah, <laughs> that's so true. <laughs> so there you go. Um, just the last thing I want to talk about from kind of like the release was the reviews. Reviews have been really good. The review I wanted to highlight the most was the IGN review. It was a 9.4. was That's an excellent review. That's top notch. Yeah. And high praise for all aspects of the game. The only thing they really kind of knocked it for at all was the fact that we just want more modes. More game yeah. modes. Yeah. Which I, I still want Capture the Flag so bad. <laughs> I'm I, sure we'll see something when yeah. um, we get uh, competitive play. Mm -hmm. I, I I would imagine they would either bring up bring up something new or shortly after that we'll yep. see something. Yeah, we know it's we know things are in the works. We just don't know what they are. And with the with the brawls, those are a lot of times those were kind of studied off of custom games that people did to come mm -hmm. up with the brawl. 
And I think based on you know what ones are more popular, and they'll keep looking at custom game data, and that they might be able to figure out modes based on things like that. They can come up with like a, an idea for a mode, and then combine it with you know whatever they want to tweak in the game, mm-hmm. and then you can come up with a new mode there. Whole I still like the play. arena idea where you take like two teams of three, and it's a random, just random characters. And you put them in a smaller zone, like just one of those maps, a smaller zone, mm-hmm. and, and just go at it. <laughs> because it's it's more fun, it's randomly generated, and there's so much you can do with arenas. Um, and it, I think it's a type of game where most characters can play in those situations. There's not going to be a lot of characters where like, oh, I just can't function in this. Um, I mean, if you get three Symmetras, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> one, one thing I thought would be interesting, I thought about it this weekend... Mm-hmm. Was uh, what about like a last man standing? Oh, like a king of the hill? Uh, kind of like it's it's almost like team deathmatch, but like the team that has the last person alive wins. Oh, okay. So it could be kind of interesting. I don't know if you'd have people just kind of hanging back, but you, you'd either end up with people where there's like two uh, random people on the map on opposite ends mm-hmm. just hanging out. You know, it's kind of like you only live once, and yep. you uh, hardcore. It, yeah, it's like hardcore mode. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. That was kind of an interesting idea, but yeah, I like that. I'd play that. <laughs> I, I just wonder like how the games would end. Like if everybody rushed in, you know, if you'd have like two tanks that would be alive at the end, or two backline yeah. healers, like yeah. it'd be like a mercy v mercy duel to see who wins. <laughs> <laughs> who knows? So it could produce some interesting results. Maybe there'll be like a brawl if yeah. they come up with that. I don't know. That'd be cool. So there's that. The uh, animated short that kind of coincided with the launch came out, which was Hero, Soldier 76. Mm-hmm. What did you think about that, Ova? Did you like that? This was honestly my favorite one. I love Soldier 76. I think the art in this one was fantastic. Um, got to experience Dorado, I believe, mm-hmm. in, that, yeah. in that animated short. So that, that was honestly my favorite one. What did you guys think? Oh, I thought it was yeah, I loved outstanding. It. Mm-hmm. I, I love when he uh, is beating the guy with the pinata. <laughs> Yeah, I like the guys with the war paint on, all yep. the, the neon war paint. That was and then it glows in the dark. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that was a really good one. I think they've gotten considerably better and better. Um, mm-hmm. The story's developing. Um, yeah, I think they're doing a really good job. It, it was it was kind of appropriate that they, you know, they launched with seventy six and his story. If you have the collector's edition, if you look in the view book, the source mm-hmm. book, you'll notice that he has like twice as many pages. For in his hero section than anybody else, yeah. really trying to focus him, but he he really did play you know a huge role in Overwatch and the history of it. So it's only appropriate that he yep. would be kind of like the central figure. Kind of surprised they didn't make one of those giant action figure displays out of him <laughs> this week. Oh, that's true. Yeah, you know, you know USA USA <laughs> right. <laughs> but the the I'd agree the. Cinemax are getting fantastic. They're getting better and better. And the other thing that I thought was really neat about it was the fact that they took like this little tiny shop in Dorado and then made like the whole story around it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, getting talking about those action figures though, we had those on display this week with the launch. There's the mm-hmm. making of video. If you go and go check it out, it'll be in the show notes. It's on the Play Overwatch channel. But we got to see the Tracer, the Farah, and the Genji. Huge, huge action figures put in their boxes and set out for everyone to see. So, uh, Softy, what did you think about those? I thought, when can I buy them in a store? Yeah. Because <laughs> I am ready to have some Overwatch action figures. <laughs> yeah, one thing I thought about, if you watch the making of video, they, they, they have the, like, the 3D models and they 3D printed mm-hmm. a lot of those pieces, it looked like. So, they could easily scale that down and make an action figure. Oh, for sure. They've already yeah. got the data now. They probably would have already started with a smaller model first for the design process, mm-hmm. and then enlarged uh, on the printer. So, I I mean, they, we have the Funko Pops coming out next Friday, um, June 3rd. So I don't think there's any reason why they, we wouldn't see action figures um, at, like, uh, video game stores. I mean, I think that makes sense. Yeah, I think they're coming. You think they're coming, Ova? Uh, they have to be. Yeah. They'll be at BlizzCon, for sure. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. I was like, they, they have to at least have one of them at BlizzCon. Like... <laughs> Yep. Please. How, How much you want not? to bet that there's the alternate skins, the legendary skins at BlizzCon, <laughs> only at BlizzCon, <laughs> and I'm going to have to pay $200 for them on eBay. I will bring you one back. <laughs> yeah! yeah! All right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's going to be awesome. 
And finally, the Torbjorn comic, which <laughs> yep. I, I did not see. So, Ova, did you see that? I, I have not had a chance to read it yet. <sighs> oh, sorry then. You guys are Torbjorn fans. <laughs> Yep, so uh, Torbjorn comic uh, gives you a little bit of backstory on Torbjorn's past, kind of uh, who he used to be, um, and gives you an idea of, I don't know if it's a future character maybe, or uh, other future characters. It's basically about uh, somebody he used to work with taking over one of the um, Omnic uh, giant Titan bots. I think they call mm -hmm. it the Titans. Um, and him actually showing as a good guy. And you kind of don't know yet with a lot of these characters. I mean, you know Junkrat and <laughs> and Roadhog there. But uh, a lot of them... Two just wild sure. and crazy guys. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it was a really good story. Uh, good art on this one again. I uh, I want them to be about twice as long, though. I feel like there's a lot of lead-up sometimes, and then it's just, like, over. Like, yeah. it wasn't that hard. And I wish there was more story development there. But other than that, I mean, they're free. What can I complain? I would buy them on the shelf, um, but at that point I'd ask that they'd be a little longer. I wonder if they'll release a printed collection of them. In like a graphic novel? Mm. That would be awesome. And we know we're going to get a graphic novel. so Yes, we do. That's another of the good things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> let's, uh, let's spotlight one of these heroes this week. Spotlight! Let's talk about Soldier 76. Oh, hero spotlight, <laughs> Soldier seventy six. There you go. I got. I got to capture that, and we'll use that as the drop from now on. <laughs> <laughs> no, please don't. Uh, so, Soldier seventy six, uh, Jack Morrison. Uh, he is the American soldier. Um, he was an Overwatch commander, and he is, along with Tracer, kind of the main character of the story. Um, soldier seventy six is one of my favorite heroes. He uses a really cool, uh, he uses a rifle, the, a heavy pulse rifle. And unlike some other characters that have regular assault rifles, his stays steady until you've been shooting um, consistently for so long, and then it'll start to widen out. So he's really good at sniping, even though he's not a, a sniper. Uh, and he also has the Helix Rocket, which is the right-click ability that you can use, uh, especially for Bastions or Turrets, uh, to take those down. Yep. He really accelerates at, uh, at attack and getting rid of Turrets and Bastions uh, and uh, Symmetra's Turrets as well. Um, he also has probably the, my favorite movement ability in the game, which is Sprint. Uh, you, <laughs> you hit, is, I believe, Shift. Yeah, it's left Shift. Yeah, shift is and he fault. sprints indefinitely until you stop. There, I mean, there's... I, I love Tracer, but and I love Genji, <laughs> but he's the a nonstop sprint is awesome. Yeah, a lot of people before when he first was announced were like, "Sprint, that's lame," but no, it's so nice. It's, it's so, so nice. awesome. <laughs> yeah, yep. we're, we're going to capture. It's either Tracer or Soldier seventy six when it comes down mm -hmm. to those last couple seconds. So, yep, or I we, had uh, or we, we had uh, Hollywood yesterday, and I came around the right side with a sprint, and I <laughs> just got right behind a Bastion and a Torbjorn. And had shot them both and kept going, and we were able to push right away. He's just, he's quick, he's quiet, and he's really precise with that rifle. Yep. Um, he also has one of the better healing abilities in the game, especially for a non healer, uh, Biotic Field. Um, so he puts down this healing area, and he'll tell you, everybody, get in the, you know, get in the area. <laughs> and he'll start to heal himself and everybody else in that area, um, which is awesome. A lot of times, what I'll do, uh, like on Hollywood, for example, I'll try to edge in. Shoot, shoot. If I don't get anybody, I'll come back, put down the biotic field for everyone, and then go back at it again. And you can kind of chain that back and forth. It's a really useful ability, and I think it's underrated. Uh, I've gold. I've scored gold uh, medal in healing. I'm going to ask if you guys got gold, gold on, time. on him. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's, uh, that's something that will happen a lot if you get that biotic field down. And it, if you're on the attack, I like to have it down almost on cooldown. Uh, find a good area for it. You don't want to put it right out in the open because... People get shot, so get it behind a vehicle or something like that. Um, and, but yeah, use that a lot because that is a really solid ability. Nice. Uh, his ultimate tactical visor. Um, he is going to pinpoint or lock onto uh, the different enemies in the area, and um, he he gets this ability to quickly switch between targets. Um, I'm not sure. It's like aimbotting. <laughs> Yeah, it is kind of like aimbotting. I'm not sure if there's like a damage increase or if it's just the visor. I think it's just the visor ability. But he seems to be able to headshot really easily and take uh, characters down quickly. 
Uh, it's really easy to run in, activate it, kill one, move on to another, and keep uh, switching targets until most of them are dead. Um, on the Hollywood payload, I had a t uh, total team kill with one Soldier 76 off a tactical visor. So it's, it's definitely possible. He's a really solid character, a good ultimate. His utility is incredible, and he's really precise with his uh, heavy pulse rifle. Rifle, excuse me. There you go. It's... So if you have not tried him, try this character out. He's awesome. Good rundown of him. Yeah. So how many of you expected him to throw down the biotic field in the cinematic? By the way. I know. I was after Where that explosion. That? I was. <laughs> yeah. I was waiting for it. <laughs> yeah. I was like, come on, dude. <laughs> Because they in all the other ones they always like have you noticed they always show off like every ability yep. they have so I was like yep. where is it where is it <laughs> he's hurt <laughs> in the uh, comic they have Torbjorn building a turret inside of a mech <laughs> so yeah they do like to show those off that was kind of surprising <laughs> excellent well I got no uh, ask overcast this week that I found so remember to, you can tweet all of us or you can just tweet with the hashtag. Ask Overcast, and we'll answer your questions on our show every week. Mm -hmm. And uh, shout-outs this week. Softy, go ahead with the uh, shout-outs. You got it. So we have the uh, CTR team tournament coming up on June 25th. Again, if you are not part of CTR, that does not matter. Just get registered. As of right now, we have five teams to go. Um, team Moem Down is registered and ready. We're going to win it. Um, Oh, for sure. I also want to give a shout out to Wickedella, Clipper, Hollyhood, Totally Drunk, Kayak, Blue, and so many more for helping me this week. We were in a team of six almost the entire day Friday and much of the nights for the rest of the week. So I want to thank all you guys. You're awesome. You are far better than me, and I really appreciate your help. Uh, Totem, I hope you don't rage quit, buddy. I had a lot of fun. <laughs> Excellent. Over do you have any shout outs this week? Not this Good week. Of mine. All right, and uh, I didn't do much in game, so I feel I feel bad for like the launch day, and then here it is that I didn't actually get to play <laughs> like the launch week. This is our huge episode yep. that you're you're building up to the entire yep. time of the game to come out, and then I I got nothing. <laughs> Life happens, man. We understand. But I got you guys, so yep. I, I am uh, I'm rich in that way. <laughs> but you know, I'd like to thank everybody again for joining us. Because that brings us to the end of the show. So remember to follow us on Twitter at Overcast Show. You can go to theovercastshow.blogspot.com where you can read the show notes and everything else we talk about. It's linked there. Mm -hmm. Go to frozenfoxradio.com where you can learn about this and all the other shows on the Frozen Fox Radio Network. Hit up our Facebook page and give us a like there. Give us a thumbs up on the YouTube version if you're watching the video version. And thank you for listening to the audio version on iTunes, Podbean, Stitcher, Google Play Music, or wherever else it might be that you're listening to us. So... Thank you again. I want to give everybody a chance to introduce their social media again, since uh, you know this is launch time, big time. You can follow us. You can hit us up if you want to play, kind of thing. So you can find me at Frosty Fox right down here, if I can get to the right side. <laughs> and uh, I'm basically that on everything. So you can find me there on Twitter. How about OU Ova? Yeah, you can find me on Twitter and on Twitch at OvaDriveCTR. That's O-V-A-D-R-I-V-E-C-T-R. How about you, Softy? Where can everybody find you? They can find me on Twitch and Twitter at Old Softy. Not Swafty, not Saufty, but Softy. <laughs> Softy. Um, <laughs> I had some New Jersey friends playing this week, and they're having trouble with it. Um, my battle tag is on my Twitter. Please feel free to add me. I will play anytime. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Well, thank you, everyone, and thank you, everyone, for joining us for this very special week. Now get out there and play some Overwatch, and uh, be back next time for the next episode of Overcast. So, I'm Frosty. I'm Overdrive. Hopty. <laughs> we'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs>